Hello, this is Enrique from DN Simple. Today, I will walk you through our DN Simple C Sharp API client and how to use it to automate your domain management by showing you how to register a domain programmatically. I will do this in our sandbox environment where you can play with our API at no cost. The sandbox environment behaves, with a few exceptions, exactly as our production environment. Let's encrypt certificates cannot be issued in the sandbox environment, nor will the domains that you register be registered for real. You don't need to worry about spending any money on domain registrations while using our sandbox environment as this is all pretend. Okay, let's get started. First, we'll head over to our sandbox environment at sandbox.dnsimple.com. Once you log into the sandbox environment, you will see your dashboard with all the domains you might have registered already. On the top right, you will see the account link, clicking on it, you will be on the account page. At the bottom of the left menu, you will see the automation link. Once we follow the link, we will see our API tokens, if we have any, webhooks, application and developer applications. For today, we are only going to look into API tokens. So let's do that and create a new API token for our sample code. We click on new and we are shown a form where we can name our token. This will help in the future to know which token you're using where. Hot tip, use names that you will remember and associate easily to the applications you're working on. Let's call our token C Sharp Tutorial and generate it. Now we can see the token and we are prompted to save it somewhere as it will not be displayed afterwards again. I'm not going to close the browser or move away from this window at the moment as we will need our generated token in a moment. I could just quickly save it in a note-taking app but I'm not gonna do that. Now we have everything we need to start working on our C Sharp tutorial. Let's start our IDE. I'm using Rider from JetBrains, but you can use whichever IDE you prefer. In Rider, I will create an empty solution and name it C Sharp Tutorial. With the solution created, I'll add a console project so we can see the output in the console. Let's just call it the Simple Console. I'm just going to run it so we can see that it's actually working. Okay, good. Now that we have the project, Let's look for the DN Simple API client in NuGet. There we go. And let's install the latest version. Rider is really great for these things. All right, let's start. I will use the same file with the hello world message and just change it as we go along. After each run, I might comment out some parts so that we don't need to try to do the same operations over and over. The first thing we want to do is to create an instance of our DN Simple client which is our entry point to the API. We also want to change the base URL we will be using so that we point it to our sandbox environment. And now let's add our credentials. That is the token we generated on the web interface earlier. Let's go back to our browser and copy the token. And now paste it. Okay, with this, we should have all we need to interact with the sandbox environment. The first thing we're going to do is to get our account ID and store it in a variable. For this, we will be using the identity service calling who am I. Depending on which credentials you use, you will either have an account or a user object attached to the result of the operation. As we're using an account token, we will get the account ID from the account and we're going to write it to the console for the moment so that you can see what's going on. Now that we have the account ID, we can go and check for a domain so that we can register it. Let's check one that should not be available, although we never know as we are in our sandbox environment. Anyways, let's see if google.com is available. Okay, good, it's not available, phew. Now, let's see if we can find a domain that is available so that we can register it. csharptesting.com should be fine. Let's see. Okay, great. It's available. 
Before we continue and register this domain, we need to create a contact that will be associated to this domain. When it comes to contacts, it's really important that your contact information is up to date in case you're contacted by ICANN, the organization that oversees domain name registrations for most top level domains. I recommend not using an email address to the domain that you're configuring, but use an email address you already have been using up until now. Okay, let's create the contact, shall we? First thing we're going to do is to create a contact object with all the requirement arguments. My name, my last name, not my address, nor city, in the province of, a postal code, my country of residence, my email, and finally phone number. Okay, with the contact created, we can call the service to create the contact and extract the contact ID for when we register the domain in a moment. Let's print it out so we can see the result of the operation as well. Now with our contact created, we can register our domain. Let's just do that. First of all, we'll have to create a domain registration input object containing the contact ID of the contact we've just created. For the moment, we're going to leave the rest of the arguments as they are. With the domain registration input object created, we can now register our domain. For this, we're going to call the registrar endpoints register domain method and add the account ID, the domain name, and the contact ID. Okay, our domain is now created, so we can go ahead and for the time being, just list the domains we have. I have a few domains registered already, so let's see if we can find ours. There it is, nice. Let's now add a zone record to our domain. As a simple example, I'm going to add a CNAME record to point our domain to the DN Simple blog. First, we're going to create a zone record object. I'm going to give it a name of blog. The content will be blogdnsimple.com and the type of record, as I mentioned earlier, will be CNAME. So let's create the zone record using the zones endpoint, passing the account ID, the domain name, and the zone record object we just created. Remember when I said earlier that some functionality of the sandbox environment is limited? This is one such case. Even though we added the CNAME record to point to blogdnsimple.com, this configuration would not really work. Anyways, now that the record is created, let's list the zone records for this domain. We call the zones endpoint to list the zone records and print them out. Today I've given you a little glimpse of what you can do with our c -sharp API client, registering a domain, creating zone records, but also how to start using our sandbox environment to get you started in your domain automation. Please do check our developer documentation to see all the endpoints and actions you can perform to automate your domain management using DN Simple. We also have comprehensive support articles that will help you to dig deeper into what you can do with our services. I also want to point you to our DN Simple C Sharp cheat sheet where you can find sample code on how to do the thing I've shown you in this video and some more. 
please do reach out to us if you need help or plan on using our services and we will do our best to help you at support at the Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.